at this point of time because i mentioned steady let me differentiate between steady and uniform steady is associated with invariance with time and uniform this is associated with invariance with position these two things need to be kept in mind that when we call a flow as steady we st we in general in general uh, we mention that the flow is not changing with time or the flow properties rather are not changing with time for uniform motion we say that the properties are not changing with position let's say i consider a duct like this i consider one point when i say the flow is steady i say that at any time t let's say the velocity or any other property of the fluid will not change at this position when i say the flow is uniform whatever property is here does not change if i go to another point here that is what uniform means let's say if the flow is non uniform the property here and the property here might differ if i say that the flow is unsteady the property here might change with the time interval t that is what this means let us now define what a streamline is a streamline basically is a curve which is or let's say a streamline is not only a curve let me say this is a family of curves which are tangent to the velocity vector of a fluid particle this means that let's say this is a streamline along which fluid flows and there is a particle here what this statement means is the velocity needs to be tangent to this curve at this point or rather at any point the velocity has to be tangent towards this curve let me consider a duct or a pipe through which a fluid is flowing let's say the fluid enters from here and exits from here and i define an arbitrary path inside the pipe let me define a point a and a point b this is a streamline if this holds obviously there are some things which i would like to state here at this point of time about this kind of a setup or a streamline the path a to b this path traced by each particle is identical what this means is let's say i have a particle here some at point, some point of time this particle here will have to necessarily travel this path along the streamline provided that the assumptions we took earlier are true at another point of time another particle comes here this will also travel along this path so this statement basically means all particles along this will have to travel a to b along this line this is the first statement second statement 
एट एनी पॉइंट और एट अ पॉइंट ऑन दिस कर्व वेलॉसिटी ऑफ अ पार्टिकल विल नेसेसरिली रिमेन सेम एट ऑल टाइम्स विच इज लेट से इफ आई कंसिडर अ पॉइंट हियर एट टाइम टी लेट से पार्टिकल हैज वेलॉसिटी वी देन एट टाइम टी प्लस डेल्टा टी another particle which passes through this point will also have a velocity v this comes from the fact that we are considering that the flow is steady or the flow is not changing with time the third thing which we, we would like to state here is the a particle can have different velocities at different point at different points on this curve so let's say if a particle here has velocity v a here it has let's say velocity v c then va and vc are going to be different which is obvious because here the particle has velocity which is in this direction which is tangent to this curve but here the particle has velocity in this direction which is not same as this direction hence velocity vc and velocity va are going to be in general different this comes from the fact that we have not assumed that the flow is uniform or the flow is non uniform had the flow flow been uniform velocity here and velocity here would have been same a simple case of this can be if streamlines are parallel like this so here let's say particle let's say the fluid is coming here uh, with a velocity u not here the fluid has velocity u not here also the level fluid has velocity u not here also the fluid has velocity u not so at every point here on these streamlines the fluid will be having velocity u not this is an example of uniform flow and if i say that u not is a uh, is a constant then the flow becomes steady too because at here at any point of time we will have a velocity of u not streamlines play a major role in guessing or making a rough estimation about the fluid speed in different channels or different ducts say if i have a duct like this which is narrowing at some point and again becoming flat or it is it is a thick pipe initially and let's say you with your hand press here with, uh, on the pipe so that it becomes narrower so what will happen is let's say this is a streamline it will go like this and they will diverge again similarly another streamline another streamline let's say so when we have streamlines when they are very close to each other we have an increased speed of the fluid which is in general observed by every one of us when we spray water in our garden we tend to press the end of the pipe to narrow down the diameter of the pipe so that the pipe the water through the pipe rushes out with a very large speed this is coming from this fact another fact about streamline is streamlines two streamlines can never intersect with each other we cannot have a situation like this this is another streamline this is one streamline this is another streamline these two cannot intersect a justification to this is if we consider the point of intersection the fluid velocity will have to be necessarily unique a fluid particle cannot have a velocity which is in this direction as well as in this direction this kind of a contradiction cannot occur hence streamlines cannot intersect 